and now we can come back here now go back to the hero section click on this hero section and in the hero section we have this search token okay so this is the only component is left where we have to display all the token in which user can select and it will swap the token okay so this is the search token we have simply click on this and we have to receive the props although we are making this component as a reusable component because we are using in two different places okay so we have to give the similar name so simply copy this open token copy this tokens the data and this is the data itself and now we have to import couple of things from react so use state we have to import the image and we have to do the internal import so import style and that's coming from the directory we have to import the entire images asset folder and here we're going to define a couple of use states so let's give this comment use state and we'll say active so whenever a user will select any particular token we have to turn it that token to active so it will be initially one ether and we'll take a variable we'll say coin so right now we don't have the data so let's take a demo data so coin and it's going to be an object it will have the image of the token so image dot ether which in the image we have all the images and we're displaying the image and let's give the name so we'll say name it's ethers and simply replicate couple of times okay replicate couple of times so this is the entire our demo data which we have in the coin okay so that's the demo data and let's start working on the jsx part div class style and we want to call it to search token we'll take another div it will have a style search token dash box inside that we'll have another div it will have a style search token dash box heading inside that we'll take this h4 and it will say select a token we'll down below we'll take this image src image dot close because when our model is open the search token component is open we have to close it as well okay so we have to assign that so we'll say close it will have the width to 50 height to 50 and it will have on click function so it will close it and we have that function here open token and that we have to send that to false so that's the closing button now let's come down we'll take a div it will have a class call dash search token box dash search and that will take a div it will have a class search dash box that search image and we'll take this image and that we have the images dot search alt and width is going to be let's say 20 height is going to be 20 so we have the images now let's come down we have to take the input so the user can type the token name and they can search or they can put the address of the token and they can search so let's do placeholder is going to be something like search name and paste address paste the address so that's the input and here we're going to simply render the demo data so mm, that looks good we'll take a div it will have a class called style token box token and in that we're going to use the demo data so we'll have the data in this coin we're going to map over it element i instant return we'll take a take a let's say mm, small tag take a span and in that it will have a key so active i plus one then we have to display this class so it will take a template little style dot active else we want to display nothing so i believe you guys have understood that what we are exactly doing so hope this makes sense this is the simple javascript so that's what we have here let's come down inside that we uh, let's have a on click function and on the click event we have to set the active active to i plus one and we want to set this as well token and here we have the token and we have to simply pass the data of the token so this is how we can send as an object so we have to send the name so we you can see this is the coin and we have the image and we have the name okay so element dot not image we have to send let's send the in name and we have to send the image so element dot ing 
so this is the image we data we are sending in the token hope you guys have understood that what we are exactly doing now let's take the image we'll say search element dot image if we have the image then display the image if we don't have the image then we have to display this hard code image ether and it will have the old it will have the width it will have the height 30 that looks pretty good to me now come down and here we're going to display the actual name of the token so things are looking good come back here and if if we simply turn this save it and here you can see we got all the token so we have the input we have the like the hardcore demo data so things are looking pretty good and now we can start styling this component okay so let's come here simply copy this search token and let's go to the style file search token and make it side by side and let's start styling this so we'll target that first thing we have to set the position is going to be absolute margin zero auto background color is going to be our primary color padding is going to be 2 ram border radius 0.5 ram width is going to be 13 ram height is going to be 25 ram come down we have to target the search bar token box heading okay what error we are getting okay no problem compilation error flex and align term center justify content space between we'll come down we have to take this media query only and max width is going to be 35 em we'll say width is going to be 90 five person so it looks pretty good and now we can start styling so come here we have to target the search token box search and display is going to flex align item center background color is going to be our let's say second primary color padding is going to be 0.5 ram and 1 ram border radius 0.5 ram gap is going to be 1 ram so that's how it will look come down and we have to target the input we'll see background color is going to be transparent outline zero border zero color we're going to attach this primary color and font width is going to be 500 width is going to be 90 percent and that's how it will look come down we have to simply get it box token and here we what we have called so it's actually search token dash box tokens tokens copy list target the margin top 1.5 ram and display is going to be great great template column repeat for one fr gap is going to be 0.5 ram that's how it will look pretty beautiful come here and we have target the span and display is going to flex align item center gap is going to be 0.2 ram border two pixels solid and it will have our second primary color width is going to be 5.7 ram and padding is going to be 0.3 ram border radius 1 ram and we'll have a cursor pointer so that's how it will look come here just target the active class and we'll say background color is going to be this and color is going to be this so that looks pretty good and come back and let's set the media query so we'll target the tokens and we'll say display is going to be flex flex wrap is going to be wrapped so that's how it will look on a mobile device okay we're going to fix this one this looks pretty big but we're going to fix it so if we close this is how it will look on our desktop it's looking perfect you can see 100 percent responsive you can click and you can simply select you can simply close okay we can't close it so it's really this so what we can do simply close this one and come here and here we are doing this one simply remove this exclamation mark and it will get off and if you click on this okay we have some problem it's a open token is not defined actually this is the error we are getting for the quite long and i know why it's happening instead of calling set open token i'm called something else so let's make it here and where it is so here we are doing this one and this is what we have simply copy that one and that's what we are sending here that's what we are receiving here and that's what we are calling here no more problem we have here 
so actually the this is not the problem actually is happening here in the search token so this problem is not happening in the search token it's happening in the euro section okay this is the problem we have i guess so let's have a look uh, okay here we have calling this but we have to call this one simply copy this one and that's what we have to call here and simply copy this and that's what we have to call here now this will work fine and these are fine you don't need to do any changes simply reload the page and now let's test you can see you can close it. you can open the component and you can simply click but you can't close it so we have a problem in the close okay that's what we are receiving simply come here we can select but we can't close it and okay that's the problem we have i got it i got it so these are the good this is looking good but this is also looking good and the reason why we are having this issue is because this so here you can see we have this open token too and this is not what we are utilizing and instead of open token writing twice we have to write this replace this one and save it close and now you can see it's working fine open close open close select whichever token you want but right now you can see the token is not changing because we have provided the same name so let's come here and here we have the coins and let's quickly change the name of this coin okay so this is the ether let's make it die dog fun wet nine uni time lu this become o and this become hey so i've changed the name of the token and the name of the token is changed and if you select any token you can see this tolerance is working fine and you can see everything is working fine no more issues we have here but here we have to select the token so if i select this token a time and here you can see the time is changed so the state is changed if we click here the fun and this is changed that's working fine and this one is also working fine no issues we have here you can easily open open and close the model so that looks pretty good so what we can do is let's come here here we're going to take another use state and this will say account because right now we don't have the data on which we can do the testing so that's why we're going with this hard code data okay so we'll say account and it will be false initially false and scroll down and here we're going to call that so we'll say paste here and if account is true then do this if account is false then do this okay so now this one is still working here we have to do the changes so simply copy this one and that's what we're going to call in the second button and this will open the list of the tokens a user have in the metamask and that looks good it's working fine you can see it's working fine all the token list is displaying and here we have to do the changes so if you turn it this true so the current wallet will open and if you turn it to false the token list will open so that looks fine and here we have to do the change we'll say display the account address once the user is connected so that's how it will look let's make it a little bigger that's how it will look the address of the token and if we make a true we have this one and here we have to change the stack to connect we'll say connect here we have click and connect if user is connected then we have to display this one let's turn this false and now it looks good this looks beautiful you can open up and close everything is dynamic i hope you guys can appreciate that how everything is looking good we have built the beautiful ui part for our unicip clones and now we're going to assign the functionality in the next section okay so let's have a look final time that how it's looking and this is the problem we have it's going behind let's fix this issue so so this is the problem we have in the token list and we can come back to the css and all we have to do is to simply provide this z index 
then it is something high and it will come on top of that okay that looks good this is also looking fine hundred percent responsive and this looks little big but we're going to make it small okay for the timing let's leave it like it we're going to fix it later so that looks good and everything's looking fine no issues we have so the template is almost ready and finally we have built the entire template of our unisop clones now all we have to do is to add the functionality so we are done in the first part we have built this beautiful ui with all the dynamic pop-ups all the dynamic or oh sorry demo data now in the second section we're going to build the smart contract and we're going to test that smart contract using mocha library in hard hat that's what we're going to do in the second part in the third part we're going to connect our smart contract with sdk of unisop don't need to worry if it sounds confusing i'll explain you everything that how you can use unisop smart contract unisop sdk to do all these shops pools liquidity fetching data everything so hope you have enjoyed this first section you have learned all the basic fundamentals of the react and next years how to build a beautiful ui using normal css so that's why i have included this part in the first section where i want to teach you everything about the react so if you learn whatever i have covered in this so far about the react so you are ready that's the only knowledge you need and you will you will gain knowledge as you will build project but this is good for the beginner if you know this much about react then you can start working on the blockchain part okay so that's the end of this first section let's move to the next section in the next video and that we're going to learn about in that video we're going to build the smart contract and test the smart contract in the hard hat so i'll see you there